You're watching Tag TV. From Kashmir to Kanyakumari, India is a spell-binding mosaic of culture, tradition, languages and an extraordinary mingling civilization. Keeping its age-old culture maintained, today the country is taking huge strides in the path of development. Hello, I'm your host Lepakshi and today in our episode of My India, we bring you some of the stories that will give a glimpse of our country's diversity. The spring season brings with itself a confluence of colors, cool breeze, good harvest and avid celebrations. When the sun and moon enter the zodiac sign of Capricorn, devotees take a holy dip in sacred rivers, marking occasion of Mark Amavasya or Moni Amavasya. This year's Mark Amavasya was special because of falling on a Saturday after a span of 20 years. Take a look. Festivals in India are closely knitted to religious traditions that often date back to the Vedic times. A majority of Indian festivals revolve around ancient rituals and traditional values that are deeply rooted in different cultures and traditions. Recently, people across India observed the festival of Magh Amavasya or Moni Amavasya as they thronged the banks of holy rivers, especially Ganga. आज मोनी अवश्या है जी बड़ी पितरों के लिए बड़ी तर्पण के लिए बहुत अच्छी है और शनिवार को पड़ रही है 26 साल बाद ये सहयोग आया है और आज पिछली अमावस्या को भी आया था मैं हर अमावस्या को आता हूँ इस बार भीड़ पिछली अमावस्या के जाए ज्यादा है Celebrated on the first no moon in the Hindu month of Magh which coincides with the Gregorian months of January and February the festival is celebrated with great religious fervor in the northern part of the country. This year's Magh Amavasya was special because for the first time in 20 years, the occasion had fallen on a Saturday, which is why it is being referred as Shani Amavasya. As the name suggests, this day is also referred as a day of silence in Hinduism. Some devotees also take a pledge to keep a vow of silence, Mon Vrat, throughout the day. Devotees in northern city of Prayagraj walked in large crowds during the wee hours of the day to take holy dips and provide their offerings at the Sangam, which is a confluence of holy trinity of rivers, Ganges, Yamuna and the mythical Saraswati. Similar scenes were observed in the cities of Haridwar, Varanasi and Ujjain. Maag ka matlab hota hai maag, jahaan paap samapt ho jata hai, aur aaj mauni omosya hai. आज के दिन जो संगम में गोता लगा लेता है उसको सीधे बैकुंठ की प्राप्ति होती है मोनी अमावस्या इज कंसिडर्ड एन ऑस्पिशियस ओकेजन बिकॉज इट इज द टाइम वेन द सन एंड द मून एंटर द साइन ऑफ कैप्रिकॉन अकॉर्डिंग टू द हिंदू कैलेंडर अकॉर्डिंग टू बिलीव द वॉटर इन द मोस्ट सेक्रेड रिवर गंगा टर्न इन टू नेक्टर दिस डे इज कंसिडर्ड ऑस्पिशियस टू परफॉर्म श्राद्ध रिचुअल फॉर प्लीजिंग द सोल ऑफ द एनसेस्टर्स well, India has always been a land of peaceful coexistence and religious harmony. Sufism has played a major role in shaping the cultural ethos of the country, along with perpetuating the message of brotherhood and harmony. Moving on the same lines, an international Sufi conference was recently organized in Srinagar city of Jammu and Kashmir, which was attended by religious experts and scholars from all around the world. <laughs> Giving out loud the message of peace and brotherhood, an international Sufi conference was organized in Srinagar city of Jammu and Kashmir. Organized at the banks of Tal Lake at the Sher A Kashmiri International Convention Center, the conference was attended by religious experts and intellectuals from around the world who prayed for peace and harmony. जो हमने इंटरनेशनल स्कॉलर्स यहाँ पे बुलाए हैं जो बहुत सारे ममालिक उनसे यहाँ पे आए हैं उनके थ्रू से हम पूरे वर्ल्ड को एक मैसेज देना चाहते हैं कि कश्मीर अभी भी कश्मीरियत पे कायम है कश्मीरी अभी भी मेहमान नवाजी पे कायम है अभी भी वही कश्मीर है अगर फिर दोस्त बर्रो ये जमी अस्तो हमी अस्तो हमी अस्तो अभी भी वही कश्मीर है 
तो हम पूरे दुनिया के मेहमानों को पूरे दुनिया के टूरिस्टों को ये मैसेज देना चाहते हैं कि आप आइए कश्मीर से बढ़कर आपको अमन वाली जगह कोई नहीं मिलेगी The conference was hosted by Voice for Peace and Justice, which is a well-known NGO in Kashmir. Sufis, academics, theologians, policy makers, experts on international issues, and Islamic scholars from countries like Germany, Turkey, France, Maldives, Switzerland, and more attended the conference. The primary guest of the event was the Turkish Sufi master Esref Ifandi. who praised the NGO for organizing the conference in Kashmir the hub of Sufism the scholars of Hinduism Sikhism and other religions from different states also attended the event we work with Sufism Sufism in one word it means peace and harmony so anything which is uh, related to Sufism is peace is harmony uh it's 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 humbleness uh, it's peace for everyone irrespective of race religion culture and peace so promoting sufism sufism is a part of islam it's a big part of islam and it's part of humanity as well so we promote sufism all around the world and our main target is to promote peace and harmony through sufism through sufism policy and intellectual which is a core part of uh, of islam In a multi-religious and diverse society like India, it often becomes difficult for the students and youths to draw morals from multitude of faiths. The interfaith conference held in Srinagar city was certainly a wonderful initiative to clear those conflicts regarding religion and uphold the unity of India. And now a round up of some of the major stories that made news recently. Bollywood heartthrobs Ranbir Kapoor and Shraddha Kapoor launched the trailer of their upcoming romantic comedy film Tu Jhooti Main Makar in Mumbai. Director Lav Ranjan said the lead pair of Ranbir Kapoor and Shraddha Kapoor would bring freshness to the rom-com genre and hoped would attract audience to theaters. Rom-com mein na pair ki bahut value hoti hai aur jo pair dekha hua hota hai wo apna baggage bhi leke aata hai. राइट right, उस अपनी एक्सपेक्टेशंस लेके भी आता है तो अगर क्लीन स्लेट पे एक अच्छी रॉम कॉम कर रही हो तो उसके लिए बहुत जरूरी होता है कि एक फ्रेश पेयरिंग बनाई जा सके और ये चांस की बात है दैट दे हैव बीन अराउंड फॉर सो लॉन्ग बट दे हैव नेवर बीन पेयर टुगेदर तो वो एक फ्रेशनेस जो है वो बहुत बड़ा रीजन थी दोनों को साथ में कास करने का द ट्रेलर शोज अ कॉमेडिक टेल ऑफ द फेयर फॉलिंग इन एंड आउट ऑफ लव ऑल दो द मूवी वॉज अनाउंस्ड इन टू द रिलीज हैज बीन पोस्ट पॉन थ्री टाइम्स ड्यू टू द पैंडेमिक एंड डिले इन द फिल्मिंग The film will finally release on March 8 coinciding with the Holi festival. <music> Members of the Chinese community ushered in their new year in India's eastern Kolkata city with great enthusiasm as they gathered in huge numbers to offer prayers and engage in celebrations after 2 years due to coronavirus. Today is our Chinese New Year. We are celebrating in the Chinese market out here. As you can see, the lightning, the dragon dance going out here. Every once a year, this year is the year of the rabbit, where everyone has come here to meet up and enjoy and celebrate Chinese New Year together in this Changra market. This year marks the year of the rabbit. In the Chinese calendar, each year is represented by one of the twelve animals from the Chinese zodiac. The streets of Kolkata's Chinatown known as Tangra was decorated with colorful lights as devotees offered prayers at Hindu goddess Kali temple enjoyed dragon dance watched fireworks and greeted each other with hugs to wish each other The festival's many customs observed by millions of Chinese communities around the globe all link back to the idea of inviting good fortune and prosperity and chasing away bad luck The Indian Navy commissioned indigenously built INS Wagir the 5th Kalwari class submarine in Mumbai built by Mazgaon Dock Shipbuilders Limited in collaboration with Naval Group of France Wagir was launched on November 20 in 2020 We commissioned Wagir which adds tremendously to our capability uh 
you are aware that submarines add uh, strength, firepower, and uh, stealth, you know, to the navy in executing its missions at sea. So, in that respects, uh, commissioning of Wagir, the fifth of the uh, Scorpion class, made in MDL, is uh, added a fair amount of capability and punch to the navy. The commissioning of the submarine was done in the presence of chief guest for the occasion, the Navy Chief Admiral Hari Kumar at the naval dockyard. Kumar said Wagir added a fair amount of capability and punch to Navy. The submarine that took its first sortie in the sea in February 2022 is capable of anti-surface and anti-submarine warfare, intelligence gathering, mine laying and surveillance. Considered one of the most popular Muslim pilgrimage centers, the Dargah Vajmer Sharif houses the tomb of Khwaja Moinuddin Chishti, a holy saint who dedicated his entire life to the service of the poor and downtrodden. Today, the Dargah is visited by millions of devotees every year, irrespective of their caste and religion, making it an epitome of communal harmony. Let's have a look at the Urz commemoration of the Sufi saint. Situated in the heart of Ajmer city in Rajasthan, at the foot of Paran Hill, the Dargah of Ajmer Sharif is one of the most sanctified shrines in the country. Dedicated to the founder of the Chishtia order in India, namely Hazrat Khwaja Moinuddin Chishti or Garib Nawaz, the Dargah is venerated by the people of all religious communities. Recently, the Dargah witnessed a large number of pilgrims coming together in the spirit of humanity and commemorating the 811th Urs or death anniversary of the Sufi saint. Khaja Gharib Nawaz ka jo darbar hai, wo ek akidat aasta ka kendra hai aur Khaja Gharib Nawaz ke darbar mein yaha pe sabhi dharm ke loog darbar mein aazir hoote hai. Wo sab apni apni muradhe maangte hai, sabki muradhe pooree hoote hai. तो लोग आके दरबार में शुक्राना अदा करते हैं सच्चे मन से मांगी मुरादें सबकी पूरी होती हैं और गरीब नवाज़ के दरबार में यही बरसों से एक रिवाज चला आ रहा है कि गरीब नवाज़ की जो बारगाह में जो देग है उसके अंदर जो न्याज बनाया जाता है भंडारा बनाया जाता है लंगर बनाया जाता है वो मीठे चावल होते हैं जिसके अंदर ड्राई फ्रूट वगैरह डाले जाते हैं the Urs began with different kinds of ceremonies like the sandalwood procession and the flag hoisting ceremony scores of devotees from all over the country as well as neighboring nations Throng the Dargah and offer chaddars and sweets to place on top of the tombstone of the saint and seek his blessings. Born in Chishti region of Afghanistan, the saint came to India in his process to teach mankind the high way of living and settled in Ajmer. His shrine was built by Mughals, which makes it a splendid piece of Mughal architecture that consists of various buildings, tombs, courtyards, and dalans. The Dargah is believed to fulfill the wishes of his devotees, who, according to the tradition, tie a religious thread along Jannati Darwaza, a beautiful gate covered with silver metal. मकसद हमेशा जब भी लेके आए सरकार गरीब नवाज पूरी करते हैं और यहाँ पर जो भी हम जायरीन जारत के लिए आते हैं, अल्हम्दुलिल्लाह हर तरीके से हमारी मुरादें पूरी होती हैं। मेरे सरकार गरीब नवाज पूरी करते हैं। the glory of Ajmer Sharif has only increased with time and today it marks an important piece in the history of Ajmer. Visited by people from diverse faiths and communities, the Dargah has been playing an important role in strengthening the secular thread of our country. And now we bring you a few short stories about the recent developments and happenings from around the world in our section of World in Focus. Grammy-winning U.S. jazz saxophonist composer Ted Nash traveled to Cuba this week to perform with fellow musicians from the Caribbean island nation, part of a week-long celebration of jazz in the Cuban capital of Havana. Nash, one of the United States' best-known contemporary jazz performers, will lead a project called Jazz X. He and several Cuban musicians will compose new works inspired by visual art in Cuba's National Museum of Fine Arts, then present them together to the public in several sessions. There's about 20 to 25 young musicians 
uh, who are interested in composing music and interested in this workshop. What we're doing is we're taking the beautiful artworks from this museum and we're looking at them and we're thinking of all the things that those paintings mean to us, whether it's an emotional reaction, a thought, something more intellectual, something about the history of the artist, it doesn't matter. What matters is that we are able to look at these paintings, translate them into our own personal feelings and thoughts so that we can then put into music. And then the idea is that we develop as composers as a result. Well-known Cuban musicians Alejandro Falcon, Arnulfo Guerra y Rue Lopez Nusa will perform alongside Nash. Nash also did a workshop with Cuban students who were seen taking inspiration from the paintings of the National Museum of Fine Arts to develop their composition and musical skills. Nash said the project is not political, but any collaboration between citizens of the United States and Cuba, neighbors at odds, since Fidel Castro's 1959 revolution raises eyebrows. The U.S. economic embargo on Cuba has for decades restricted most travel and official collaboration between the two countries. Music has long defied the odds, forming a cultural bridge between the countries regardless of political relations. Afro-Cuban rhythms like Habanera have fed into Afro-American music as early as the 19th century. Dior designer Maria Grazia Churi paid homage to Josephine Baker with a spring haute couture show, sending out a dazzling lineup featuring golden jackets, crushed velvet, and beaded fringes that swayed and sparkled down the runway. The designer looked beyond Baker's stage style, also considering her love of suits and the uniforms she wore as a member of the resistance in France during the Second World War as well as more intimate garments, including body-enveloping robes worn after a performance. Well, the inspiration of this collection I found in the archive because I'm very fascinated about the women that was close with Mr. Dior. And I discovered this image of Josephine Baker in at the show of Mr. Dior, and also some image where she wore Dior dress. Um, I think it uh, was an incredible woman at the time, and so immediately I started a research uh, on her and the relationship that she had with the fashion, the different fashion house in Paris. The show of the LVMH-owned label opened with luxurious robe-like coat thrown over a satin bodysuit. A black velvet jumpsuit followed, strapless, the legs cut wide before moving into a series of enveloping coats worn on top of a long, pleated skirt. Artwork by Micheline Thomas lined the set, larger-than-life portraits of black women, including Donnell, Luna, Eartha Kitt and Naomi Sims, who built on the path opened up by Baker, said Thomas. She sought to depict the beauty and confidence of these women. Making sushi is a work of art in Japan. Good handwork is a must in sushi making. That is because the curation and consumption of sushi goes back to ancient Japanese age. Celebrating the history and love for this great dish, a sushi chef's world championship was recently held at the Toyosu Market in Tokyo. This was the 10th edition of the event. Finalists from 9 countries including 15 sushi chefs from US, Europe, Asia and South America participated in the event. For the first time, Bangladesh has participated in the competition. Four finalists had participated from France. Mitsatsuki Katayama is a member of the upper house in the Japanese parliament and is a sushi enthusiast. The winner of the competition was a Czechoslovakian chef. 
He was appreciated for his nigiri skill and the beauty of his creations. Competitions like these are helpful in promoting sushi all around the world and slowly and steadily it is becoming quite common to see people in various countries enjoying a sushi. This is the Taki town in Shimane prefecture of Japan. In the souvenir section of the parking area, there are products made from figs, a special product which is boosting the tourism industry of the country. The fig soft ice cream was developed in collaboration with soft cream maker Nisei, which is slowly becoming popular among tourists. Taki Ichijiku is a Horai Shi product. え、甘みがですね、あの、全国的に有名な同品よりも強いということで、え、有名になっております。食べ応えがありまして、しっかりした身になっております。一軸ジャム、それから一軸の姿煮というものがよく売れる商品になってます。え、だいたい一軸の商
focused on the development of the fishery sector in the country, the Pradhan Mantri Matasse Sampada Yojana is flagship scheme under the Atmanirbhar Bharat Abhiyan. Launched under the Blue Revolution or Neel Kranti initiative, the program aims to turn India into a hotspot for fishing and aquatic products through appropriate policy making, marketing and proper infrastructural support. With the help of the scheme, authorities aim to bring all fishermen under the ambit of welfare programs and security schemes to double the income of the farmers. The department has told me that you have a clean water and you have to open a point for this Renwood Road. They have given me and they have given me seed. They have given me seed and seed and seed. सब कुछ मुझे दिया पहली बात तो फ्री दिया फिर उसके बाद मुझे दूसरा पान के लिए उन्होंने मना किया कि साहब ने बोला कि ये अच्छे काम करने वाले हैं हमारे फार्मर हैं कंठी से तीरथ जी हैं तो इन्होंने एक पान और दिया मुझे इक्कीस बाईस में तो और अच्छी मार्केट है हाँ रेनबोट रोड का काम कर रहे हैं हम तो अच्छी अच्छी मार्केटिंग भी है हम जम्मू तक फिशरी के फिश का सेल शेल करते हैं वहाँ तक जाते हैं हम अभी भी मुझे डिमांड है जम्मू से कि तीस पैंतीस किलो की over the years, trout fish production has increased to many folds in Jammu and Kashmir. All thanks to the authorities that have not just helped the youngsters to establish their own units, but have also made them aware about various government schemes and techniques through which they can generate a better income. Well, that's all we have for you this week. Your comments and suggestions are important to us. Do give us your feedback at myindia at anin.com. I'm your host, Lipakshi, and it's goodbye from the entire production team.